a hurricane coming. Welcome back to Bandwagon Fans. I'm Jeff. Jason here. And we just got done watching Hurricane Heist, the Hurricane Heist, and what a shit storm that was. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, about the federal agent and two good old boys trying to thwart off a heist at a federal building with a lot of uh, disposable money that, uh, in the eye of kind of the biggest storm in the history of water. Enjoy a clip from this movie, or don't enjoy it, just as we did in here either. with about 300 million of its cousins. It's your responsibility. I'm all right at babysitting old money. We're on lockdown due to the storm. Come on, man. Oh, boy. Turn around now. Do it. This is not good. No witnesses. Get in! I need your help. Let's get the money. Let's get the money. Let's get the money. Let's get the money. That thing wants to swallow us whole. So, Jason. Yeah. I think you actually, you might have enjoyed this movie a little more than I did. Well, you know, it's, it's a familiar movie, you know, but, uh, you know, you got these good old boys like what i said you know and they each got their character there and they're alabama gold uh, boys like right? bo and luke boys i mean yeah oh bo and luke duke that, definitely that, that's, right that's is that the were. one yeah they were bo and luke bo and luke duke and they got the little fed daisy with them and uh you know gotta fort this heist man i mean you, they come into their town and there's toting their guns they're trying to take over man they can't put up with it so we got this meteorologist, and we got his brother, who's one of them vets that's kind of drifting in life, doesn't know where he belongs, but yeah. he knows that it's his brother, and he's got to be behind. And they got to do it for the country. So you know what? They get involved. Uh, like I said, the brother's involved with the storm, and the older brother is kind of the technician. He gets called in because the vault collapses on him, and they need to get the vault open. But, yeah, I just, I don't know if I should help because they're going to kill me anyway. But, you know, this federal agent, right? Yeah, she hooks up with the meteorologist. Ma so you got Maggie Grace. Maggie Grace is the federal agent. Um, I'm not entirely sure what her job is because she's a truck driver slash master code. Holder. Yeah, I mean, you know, they bring in slash. they bring in the money to be burned into this into this building, and then her partner, you know, is with her, and then all of this hoot nanny goes on, and she has to leave to go get the the older brother to fix some stuff, and the younger brother's meteorologist. And then, you know, she hooks up with a meteorologist while the older brother's in there with the other people. And the house is all like, you know, let's get the vault open. And then they can't do it. And then they go out to find this federal agent because she's got the codes. And then all the storm happens. And there's a big hoot nanny with the storms going on. And, you know, eventually one thing leads to another. And, you know, they all get yeah. in there and get going and blah 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 and killing people and getting the money and let's take off and have a big chase scene in the eye of the storm and go and play chicken and you said that it's like speed and i'm like it's the road warrior we got meteorologists hanging off the sides and it's all exciting and the storm's involved and it's just yeah um shades so right off the bat I, I'm not a bit. I'm not a disaster movie fan. <laughs> I'm not I either, hate, man. I hate the day. I hate the day after tomorrow. I hate that whatever. Any any um, John Cusack disaster movie. <laughs> John Cusack. What, 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 what were some of the other? Oh, movies? he did uh, 2012. Was 2012. That what you're talking about? That's the one I. <laughs> that, um, 2012, a day after day after tomorrow. Oh, Geo. This film was missing the trailers the that were in the Strangers. This film could have taken place where The Strangers have taken place. It would have made more sense, this, man. This movie took the last 30 years of cinema and the worst uh, parts of it and crammed it into one 90-minute pile of steaming poo. It was Sharknado without the sharks? It was Sharknado without the humor. I, I, I love Sharknado. Sharknado's hilarious. Yo, you, you, mean, you mean Sookie's younger brother from True Blood didn't do it for you? No. Dude, this he's was, a star quarterback, Jeff. This he's a was, vet. 
So who? <laughs> so Tony Kebbell is the meteorologist we keep referencing. And you said his, he was who? He was Doctor Doom in Fan Four Stick. Wow. And that th that is now not his worst role. But it kind of makes sense, Doctor Doom's meteorologist, though. This th man. So this movie it had <laughs> shades of Twister. It was shades. I like that shades. shades. Yeah, you know? they they tried really hard to reference Twister from the from the very beginning of the movie. Oh, what's your little mummy reference on that hurricane? Oh, you know what? All right, we're gonna stop the non spoiler discussion. All right. I hated this movie. You absolutely should not go see it. But if you insist on seeing this nonsense, go, go watch it. Go stone. Go stone. <laughs> just go inebriate and do something. All right. And then come back and we're just going to we're just going to talk and if we okay. spoil it, who cares? All right. Um so go watch it and come back in just a moment. Actually, don't go watch it. Just All right. And we're back. All right. Spoiler alert. We're going to we're going to ruin this movie for you as if this movie couldn't be ruined anyways. The two kids from Alabama, the Hurricane Boys, lose their dad in the beginning due to a big old twister. It was nasty. The effects, though, of that house, I thought that house was going to be swept away to Oz, ladies and gentlemen. I was actually hoping for a Wicked Witch and some Flying Monkeys about five minutes in. And, yeah, I would have, Flying Monkeys would have made this movie enjoyable. <laughs> I felt like a monkey watching it. Why not see him on the screen? So, so anyway, so the Fed rally. They come in with a bunch of money to burn. They just got 600 million of it. All right? And so they get there, and it turns out some of these people are bad guys. Oh, derp de derp. So we got the partner that's from Ireland, and he came here when he was five, but he still has them Irish roots, and he's a good guy, though. Now, he ain't a good guy. He's, he's a, the he's international terrorist main thwart, right? Straight out of Die Hard. Oh, straight out with all of his friends coming in. They got it all down the schedule, right? They kill a bunch of people coming and say, we're the buddies. Here's the hackers that were here a few minutes ago. Oh, they're bad guys, too. It blew my mind. So anyway, we go on the federale, and they went and they left. She left before the thing got taken over because they needed to get some guy to come in and fix all the electric. Con the electronic goo hisses and all the gizmos and hootens and so they go and they get Sookie's younger brother from True Blood and they bring him in to fix everything. She gets away and they catch him. Meanwhile the meteorologist is trying to get her done with what he gets done. She rendezvous with him and they try to get back to where they're holding everybody so they don't kill everybody. Meanwhile they go on out looking for him because the federal agent and has this code that they need, but they're not going to get her because what happens is this meteorologist knows the times of the storm and when exactly things are going to hit to murder people just right and sweep them away. So we get this one segment where they're all shooting at each other and they're trying to tow down the satellite. They get the satellite perfect timing right before they get the last of the 16 digits. They have 15 and 16 and right before they get the last boom the timing couldn't have been more impeccable and then they go on to a mall they rendezvous with their older brother and the older brother and the and the, the younger brother they thwart the the guys in the mall by blowing up the glass ceiling and sweeping them all away and this hurricane kind of does the dirty work for everybody kills most of the people they end up back into the federal building, and the, a lot of killing goes on. Uh, the, the sheriff ends up being kind of the twist, if you want to call it, and him and his boys are like, no, we're going to take the money. But then the Irish guy's like, no, boom, we're going to take the money. I think that's established it. So anyway, they all join forces together because they're like, what the fuck? They all end up getting back in there. Boom, boom, shenanigans, walla, walla get into all the rigs with the money, start chasing it down, storm's all in there, you get the skull coming out saying, I'm going to kill you, I'm the storm. And meanwhile, the meteorologist, the older brother, are all Mad Max and outside of the rigs trying to get into these rigs going, we're men, we're men, and we're from Alabama, and only we can get her done. And so they get in there, and then there's chases, and then they run people off the road, and people get swept away to the hurricanes, and a lot of this and that, and 
tumbling and bumbling. And then all of a sudden, lead character dies. The three of them fucking survive in their rig with their 20 million left over, 200 million, whatever. Let's go to Mexico. Oh, derp. I'm kidding. We're good. End. Stupid. Don't bother. Six bucks. Could have bought Super Nachos. What you just watched was better than the actual movie. So, I don't really have much more to say. I don't really have much to add to that. You just watched the movie. You watched a better version of the movie than Amazon made. And, uh... I don't know. Alabama man! Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I wonder if he drinks cheap beer, goes bowling, and punches his girlfriend in the eye. I guess that's the sequel. That's when the federality agent hooks up with the brother, and we just get a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. But anyway, silliness, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, don't... Really total, utter ridiculousness. If I actually made the movie appealing, I just kind of went over there then, you know, give me credit. Because I'm making this movie money, if that's your reason to go. Yeah, don't go. Um, <laughs> this movie owes me money. Yeah. <laughs> I need my money back. I need to go buy my six or a high life. I'm Jeff. Jason. Get on the bandwagon. <laughs> Yuck. Doop, doop.